today. Um, it runs our version of, uh, of a Mint UI. And our approach to, to developing the UI for a Mint is very different to the standard mobile approach, which is very PC driven. We really looked at this and developed a, a more smartphone centric UI. So it natively runs any existing modern uh, applications. You can support functions like favorites. Um, it has um, full desk input. And um, there's a number of applications, such as photo album, are already running. Again, this is a ES2 hardware, which just came out last month, um, running more with the Wind River UI on top. If you have any questions, if you want to see the custom demonstration, please uh, talk to Intel or come talk to me. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, Wind River U UI on top of mid on top of Moblin. The uh, approach we're taking is, is coming from the smart world, smartphone world. Um, UI should be familiar to users. Uh, here's a list of widgets and favorites that you can categorize your apps into. You can create additional categories to organize your your favorite apps. Uh, this button here represents there's multiple screens, so there's multiple apps. You can switch between screens like this. Gesture support. We can run existing GNOME apps. It's actually our own window manager. Clutter apps. Is that resistive or capacitive? It's a capacitive, it's a capacitive screen. It's working. It's interesting. So you go in. Uses a 3D engine and clutter for mm -hmm. all for all animation. Um, there is a speaker Q and A area right over here to the left. If you guys want to carry on your conversation. Okay. Thank you. Can I get an idea? Slideshows. Mm -hmm. Zooming. We can pause and carry on somewhere else. It's okay if you need, you need right. to get out here. Yeah. Right. You kind of see. This is all using the 3D engine. Right. <coughs> I think we gotta go. Okay. But uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you.